Hey there YouTube, Vagabond Mel here and today we're just gonna stop by work real quick and then we're going to my very first doctor's appointment since I was an adolescent. So the last doctor I ever been to was my pediatrician and uh, I, then uh, well now I'm, I'm how old? 44? So it, it's been a while. I just drank a lot of water for my doctor's appointment because I'm not sure if uh, they're gonna make me pee in a cup. So just in case, I wanna be ready. All right, going to the doctor. No problem. This is what normal people do. Normal people go to the doctor. It's not a big deal. It's a everyday part of life. And the reason why I'm going is because I am paying for insurance. I pay, let's see, over $300 a month for insurance. I used to be um, on Husky Insurance, which is uh, Connecticut State Insurance. And people who make, I believe it's less than 35000 a year, you qualify for Husky, which is uh, fantastic because they cover everything. Husky insurance covers everything, but um, I, you know, I didn't do anything with the Husky insurance. I never went to the doctor. I didn't do any any of that. But now, now that I'm paying for my health insurance, I feel like I sh I should definitely go to the doctor because otherwise it's just going to be a waste, very wasteful. It's a lot of money. I am visiting the doctor today. Uh, I'm not going to do anything weird. I'm going to be perfectly normal, I promise. Okay, see you in a little bit. I'm going to pee in a cup, possibly. I'll let you know. Alright, YouTube, I am back from my doctor. And it went well. Um, the only part that I was nervous for was um, when she was testing my blood pressure. And that uh, anything to do with my heart, my heart beating, um, I, I don't like that. It freaks me out. So, oh, she looked into my eyes with a, a light and looked in my ears and my throat. And... She felt for my uh, my lymph nodes under my neck, uh, like uh, just like kind of rudimentary stuff that I remember from from my pediatrician, because that's uh, I mean, but you don't really know if anything's wrong until I I have my blood work. Because you could get some sneaky stuff wrong with me, like my high, if I have high cholesterol. That's pretty much my main concern, is if I have high cholesterol. Because you don't, you don't know unless you get it checked. What are the symptoms for high cholesterol? But I have to get my blood work done, and then I have to get a mammogram. And then, um, then I could go back and see the doctor again to go over my, all my results. She also wants me to go to an OBGYN. Um, uh, 
yeah, I guess uh, so far so so good. Everything went well, and I will I will see you guys next time on uh, on my famous channel Vagabond Mel. Okay, peace out. Bye. Hey there, YouTube. Vagabond Mel here, and today um, I am going to get my very first mammogram and I'm gonna take you with me so I think I'm ready for it <coughs> let's go do this wow it's a beautiful day out today but it is chilly I should have worn my gloves I have my gloves um, I just didn't put them on uh, What's the temperature? Um, let's see. Today is October 10th and the temperature is 58 degrees. Oh, gotta go. It's 58 degrees and I'm on the trike. And it's the first day I'm experiencing uh, a little a little chill. I'm wearing a t-shirt, a flannel shirt, and I just got my um, motorcycle jacket on. This is, uh, it doesn't have the liner. It's just like a summer jacket. And I'm wearing, I'm wearing yoga pants. So yesterday I had my first physical exam in, uh, since high school. And um, it went well, I think. It went well. And uh, the doctor, she recommended that I go get a mammogram. I need to get blood work done. I need to go to the OBGYN. Oh my God, all this stuff. This is why I, I was putting it off for so long because I just really didn't want to do all this stuff. It's a lot. And I figure today, you, you know, I may as well get all this stuff over and done with. So it's the very next day I got my mammogram I'm going to right now. And also, I decided to get my blood work done. Ugh, I hate, I hate getting my blood drawn. Like needles don't bother me as much. It's just like knowing that my blood is being drained from my body. It gets me all lightheaded. Man. They're gonna take my blood and look at my boobs. Hey there YouTube. So I just had my blood work done and I had my boobs uh, x-rayed. And uh, it was my first ever mammogram. Um, I think, I think it went well. Since it was my first mammogram, they have to do like more tests on me um, to see like if how dense my breast tissue is. I guess there's there's four different tests depending on what kind of breast tissue you have, and and right now they're just getting a baseline and seeing if if this one mammogram is all I need because they, they don't know yet. They'll know with, with that, within 24 hours if I need to come back for a different test. So, and what they do is they, it's an x-ray that kind of squeezes your boobs. It's, I mean, it doesn't really hurt. It's just weird, you know, and you have a, a stranger touching your boobies <laughs> so, but like, uh, yeah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And, um, the blood work went well. Normally, I, people have trouble when they get blood from my veins, but I made sure to drink a ton of water, and the lady, the phlebotomist, she 
wrapped my arm like really tight with an elastic band and it was super tight and she's like I'm not gonna have any problem with you you don't worry <laughs> and she she got the blood out no problem and I couldn't look at it and uh, I always have to close my eyes if it was just a, a regular shot like a vaccination I, I don't care but when blood is being taken out of me I kind of get woozy and then I glanced at the vial where the my blood was and yeah the my blood vial looked really dark um, it's a lot darker than the blood they use in the movies but I, I had to ask her I had to ask is this uh does this blood look like the right color to you and she's like oh yeah yeah absolutely you're absolutely healthy because <laughs> I I don't know things like that make me nervous when it comes to blood but now I'm gonna treat myself to a little blender bar and then I need to run to my dad's house to get his mail because he is uh, in Rhode Island right now. He might be back tomorrow. I don't know.